Hey everybody, this is Craig from OrgSpring. In today's video, we're going to cover how you can add a custom logo to your Google Apps installation. This is one of the most often requested features that we get from nonprofits whom we help set up Google Apps and also the Google Grants program. And it's actually a pretty easy fix through your control panel. So First thing you do is go to your main dashboard page inside any one of your apps programs. It's easiest to start off from Gmail, so we'll load up Gmail or your Google Apps page, whichever is easier to get into. I have mine loaded here. This is our orgspring.com address. And in email or Gmail, you'll see this little Gmail by Google logo up top. And having the Google Apps program gives you the ability to change that logo to a custom logo so anyone in your organization who logs in will see a custom logo instead of seeing that Gmail by Google logo of course you can put your logo up there uh, or you can put any kind of picture that you want up there and it'll be the same picture the same logo across all your sites that means when you log into calendar or your new drive or sites or groups it'll show your logo up here in the corner so uh, we'll get started the first thing you do is come over to this cogwheel on the top right drill down and click on manage this domain now remember this only works with google apps it's not going to work for a standard personal gmail account once you're in your google apps You'll come over here to Domain Settings, and then in Domain Settings, you'll click Appearance. And you'll see here you have a couple different header logo options, and the default is the standard Gmail logo, which you saw before, and then when you're in a program like Calendar, you'll see this Google Calendar. And we've already put in a custom logo here, but if you wanted to upload your own logo, you would just come and choose file here, and then once that file is uploaded from your screen, you would hit upload. Now keep in mind, you only have two options with image op options here. It has to be a .png file or a .gif file, and it must be scaled to 143 by 59. Google is not going to scale this picture for you, and you will get an error or the picture will not upload unless it is exactly those dimensions. So just take a handy photo editor, or if you're using a Mac, you could use Preview, and scale your logo to 143 by 59, or better yet, create one with those exact dimensions. After you do, you'll come here and click Choose File, navigate through the file window, and then select it, and then click Upload. When it's uploaded, it will show up here and then you'll simply click on this custom logo button and then you want to click down here show this logo in all sites that users create if you have the Google Sites program running through your apps and are allowing your users to create sites that will make sure that this logo gets attached to those sites if you want to customize the sign in box color you can do that here as well by picking the different colors they let you choose or putting in a custom color down here. Click Save Changes. Now you've just added the logo, so let's go back to the Gmail site. Now if you refresh your screen, you'll see something interesting. The standard Google logo is still there, even though we have uploaded the custom logo. Now this is across all the Google site headers and that is catched through your computer. So likely what you'll need to do is go into your settings. I'm using the Chrome browser. You can do this in Internet Explorer or Firefox, but you'll want to go into your settings and you'll want to clear your browsing data and make sure that you empty the catch when you do that. Once that's done, you can go back and then refresh and it'll most likely make you log in again and then once you log in you'll notice your new custom logo here and across all of your different sites that you click on thanks for watching this video if you liked it 
Please feel free to share it with your friends and other people who might be interested in this video. And if you have any questions or need to get information on other tutorials, please drop us a note or a comment on this post. Thanks a lot.